Hey everybody, Infamous back. More, uh, how do I use inventory? Like the stuff, just walkie talkie. Any way possible? It doesn't look like it. I'm pressing every fucking thing. And nothing. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? <laughs> what do you mean? Doing what? I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Does he got kids of your own? I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll True. keep that in mind. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Me and my wife over there, she's also my cousin. And the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad... We're we gonna just repopulate like the whole boat, south. Yes, sir. So. I do yeah. reckon. I'm a commercial fisherman. Catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. I do declare. How's your son doing? Good, I think. katya has got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See, See about to punch you in the fucking face right now. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets a job done. Right. Where's the they building the fence at? Oh, it look like they over there. Can't run faster than this, man. Black man should be able to walk fast. That's bullshit. Be able to run. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Okay. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Yeah. Not bastard. Poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. Well, so I had to do what I had to do. How about you yours? Bash them up from How's your family? I'm not quite sure where my ex-wife is. Ah. Oh. Yeah. For sure. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the bar. Well, so he can hide zombies? Sean's still working on that fence. I don't know if I want to talk to this little retarded motherfucker. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Let's see. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive yeah, the tractor. Yeah, okay. All right, Duck. I'm the foreman. <laughs> okay, Lift Duck. Lift with your back, Good Sean. Good job, Duck. All right. Let me get the fuck out of here for this little boy.
Uh, what do you want, black man? How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No wife. Uh, not anymore. Uh, I think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. If those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving... <coughs> Shit. Sorry. What? What? Go! I'll get my gun! What the fuck happened now? <laughs> You ain't. <laughs> no, you ain't. Well, wait. We'll stitch you up. It, it almost, it almost got me, man. It, he tried to save me. I know, son. I. Kitty uh... ass bogus as hell. I kicked Kenny ass off motherfucking farm after that shit. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. Fuck yeah, shit. You did. You can't blame Kenny. The hell I can't. You watch your back. We can kill us your daughter and you need his help. Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. This shit, it is Kenny's fault, but shit, I guess I gotta be diplomatic and shit, whatever. You fucking coward, Kenny. Now Hershel kicking us off the one for the farm. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. <laughs> Sorry. 
Let me see. Kill the ass, old cow. Hold stud. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. You know, gun shop over here, shit. Look. Hey there. Don't you friendly? Trucks run out of gas. That's not a fucking dumbass, man. Fuck. I could tell you that was a fucking zombie. Stop that little boy. He's tired. Of it. We can't take risks like this, and we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Bitch. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I, I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. Lee, can you believe this lady? That lady's my daughter. I can see the resemblance. My son won't grow up to be a raging fucking lunatic, that's for certain. Son? Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? See him. Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find wow. us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped Lord, language, in here with one man. of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten alive. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Nah, hey, don't I'm let her go in there by herself. Here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. No, you don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. 
I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan. You better have a fucking me, army, old man. I'm going to sink my foot so far in your ass, buddy. I was like, why the fuck are they going? <laughs> I'm trying. You okay? Just great, thanks. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. Why the fuck did you think it ever was suggest. a solution? We need as much we ain't got no fucking food here. So we can all we get, get out of here. peels. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here. Out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you, what's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. She, she jelly. All right. We're walking dead after this, guys. Stay tuned for more.